everyone, welcome back. It's good to see all the familiar faces. I'm Brad. And I'm Rohan. And this is our third week of um, family science. And we got a good one for you. This is one of my, this is probably my favorite week. So um, let's, Rohan's gonna introduce the lesson and uh, we'll get started. Okay, um, as all of you might remember in the first week, um, we went over the different senses that, the, that a human has and kind of incorporated how robots have those senses too. And last week we learned about the challenges that every robot will have when trying to gauge at what object it's about to pick up and how hard it has to squeeze. And um, this week we're going to go and touch on different types of robots and how people rely on them and in what situations we use them. So as you might all know, robots come in all shapes and all sizes. There's the big robots, as you can see here, this is the world's biggest production robot. It's just swinging around a car like it's nothing. There's the small robots. This robot's smaller than a quarter, as you can see here. But it can still move around and actually pick up this computer chip. Um, so there are kind of three major areas that we use robots every day and they kind of fall into the categories of dull, dirty, and dangerous work. So as you guys are eating dinner, I don't know if you guys are watching the videos, but we showed three different videos. We showed one of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and uh, Ch Chocolate Factory robots. So those, those do what we call dull work or repetitive work. The other robot we showed you was of a robot that was in a war area and was actually being used to disarm a bomb. Um, and as you can probably imagine, a situation like that is not where you want to use any person. Um, so a robot is much safer to use since no one will get hurt. And then the third video was of this robot called the Roomba. Does anyone have a Roomba? So it's a robot that actually cleans the floor. It goes around and cleans the whole floor for you. So this is an example of a dirty situation. All right, so now we have a little demo for all of you. Um, can we get five volunteers to come up? So we have five, five markers here. And I'm going to give one marker to each person. And one at a time, they're going to do everything in their color only that they see in the picture. So the yellow person will color in the center, or the black person will do all the lines outside. One at a time. So you go first. So, as you can see, this takes a long time. And what we're trying to get you to think about is if we were in a factory and each person had to do one little part of making this picture, it would take a long time. So, here's the picture. It's pretty close, but it took a long time. Okay, give, give our volunteers a round of applause. Okay. Now, for the next demo that we want to do, can I have two volunteers come up? All right, so up here now, we have an example of a dirty situation. Now, imagine this is like a, a swamp, and you don't really want to go in there because, well, it's dirty. So here we have our trusty little robotic arm, kind of like we had last week. Yeah, and there's a quarter at the bottom. And we want each participant to use the arm to go in there rather than their hand. A little bit more challenging than the, the thing we had you do last week. Yeah! <laughs> good, good work. Good. Our design experiment this week is pretty cool one. So imagine that this here is a volcano that's about to erupt. It's a dangerous situation. So we need to create a robot, you all need to create a robot that it's going to drop test equipment 
close to the volcano where no humans can go. So we're going to give you guys a bunch of materials that are back here. But first, you all need to think of a design with these materials that I'm going to list off to you. Of, and you're going to draw it on this piece of paper we're handing out. So you're going to have a pipe clean, uh, two pipe cleaners, tape, two different sizes of popsicle sticks. You're going to have three clothespins, some paper clips, string, and a spoon. Right now, everyone take five minutes and draw out your design. But make sure that you note that one of the rules are you can't you're going to stand over, you have to stand behind the table, and that's the X that you're going to have to drop it on. And you're going to have to lower this quarter. But one of the rules, too, is this is an expensive equipment. So you can't just drop it. You have to lower it slowly to the ground, or else it's going to break. So everyone start thinking of stuff in their head and draw it down. <laughs> Um, these are lollipop sticks, and um, I'm going to put rubber bands right here and attach to a spoon and a string. And if it, that doesn't work, if the rubber bands are too small, then I'm going to probably switch it to a string, like this one. So this right here. And where I'm going to pull it from here so I can move the spoon and drop it to the X. Here's the spoon, so it's going to be holded by tape. Yeah, then the clothes, the clothes pin is going to be attached to it. You're going to, this is going to be string, and then I'm going to use this so I can hold it. What are you going to use to hold it? Uh, this, like a popsicle stick, so I can just hold it like this and walk around. Instead of holding it from the string. I'm going to, make, I'm going to put these two like this, and then I'm going to put the rope around them, and then like more rope right here. So these right here, this one on the bottom, and then the quarter's gonna be here, so then you can, I can just like tilt it and then the quarter will, will slide off. How are you testing mine? How will you pick it up? Oh. I have no idea. We should put something heavy. You, you could put something heavy, but then it'll be kind of wobbly, right? Because then you'll still have one string. So using the second string, you think there's anything we can do over here to keep it from falling this way? Put another thing right here. That could, yeah, that's, that, that could definitely work, because that way you'll have two strings so it won't be wobbling, and then it won't be falling over anymore. You know? But why don't you, why don't you give it a shot? And then we'll, we'll test it. So I see a lot of good designs out there. But we're, right now we're going to take five people who feel like they're ready. Oh, Lee. Oh, Lee. So there's your volcano. Yeah. There, there's the volcano. Down. Oh, I can just put it down. I don't know. Want to try? You try it. It's your... If you want more string, you can go back and redesign it using more string. Yeah, you want to put more string so that it's bigger? It's bigger? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Problem is, you want to try to lower it, not drop yeah. it. Otherwise, otherwise, it'll break. Yeah. 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 A little bit that way. A little bit. A little bit. No, 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 no. 
Yes, yes. It's like a little boat, so so hold down, hold down. But right now, I'm trying to see if I could do a little hole in in, in the spoon, like over here, so it will stay more because it was actually going to the other side, and I wanted to stay in the center. I want to make it more better. So all the materials besides the tape you guys can take home, you can redesign. I'm sure you all have a quarter to play around with. Um, thank you all for coming and we'll see you next week. Bring a friend. Uh, we have two more really exciting weeks. And if you all remember the last week, we're bringing in a real robot. So get excited.